Hello everyone, this is Joanne and I'm your teacher for studying Korea, especially topic test. Today we are going to study about reading part of topic. And this is the first lesson and the Taiwan. And you know, the, have you ever taken the topic test? So there's a seven different types of question in the reading part. And the first type will be, you know, we can read two different sentences and find out what story about is. So you should find out what's main topics between two different sentences. All right, so I can show you the question first and then we can practice together. After that, I can explain you a more, little bit more. All right, here we go. So type one question is from the question number 31 to 33. So only three questions and the this important thing of this question, you need to know all the you know, vocabulary. <clears throat> this is about vocabulary question, so you should note in the box and then find out oh what is the all include all these things. Alright, good. So uh, sometimes a little bit confused because there's only for the uh, for the showing up and you should choose something really really much more perfect than the other thing. All right, here we go. Number one, can we read the question together? Here we go. I'm gonna read it for you. 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오 means you should choose choose one choose one what is this about all right here we go okay now we can read the box together 저는 최민수입니다 이 사람은 존입니다 all right so here are the two sentences you should find out key words okay key important key words okay i think i think here the important key word is 최민수 and then 전 Can you guess what is 최민수 and 전 is? That's right, these are all the names, right? This says about the names. So it's introduced John, right? I am a 최민수 and then this is John. Alright, so 저는 최민수입니다. 이 사람은 존입니다. So these are about name. So you should choose what is will be the right answer. Number one, 주말. 주말. Okay, do you know what is 주말 is? 주말 is the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Number two, 나이. 나이 is your age. So I am 20 years old, all right? That's my age. Mm -hmm. So that will be my 나이. Number three, 이름. 이름. What's 이름 is? That's right, this is the name. So number three will be the answer. Check. Number four, 시간. 시간, what is 시간 is? That's right. Times. We don't have enough time right now because we need to answer the question, right? All right. So number one, the right answer will be number three, 이름. Good. Can we move next? Number two, 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 생선을 먹습니다. 맛있습니다. So, of course, we need to find out what's the main important keyword. For me, I guess, 생선. And, 맛있습니다. 맛있습니다. 생선. Okay, what is 생선? Alright, 냠냠냠 먹습니다. What do you 냠냠냠 eat? Food, right? So, 생선, can you guess what kind of food is the 생선? 생선, that's right, fish. 생선 is fish. Fish, and the 맛있습니다 means delicious. Delicious, alright. You know what, I'm, I was, I used to teach 
the kindergarten kids before and they I taught her taught them the English of course. So I always say yummy is your lunch yummy and then me Mashisoyo Mashisnika Alright like that. Do you remember? Alright, so what is all the story about? What what story about it is? Number one, shopping. Shopping. What the shopping is? I love shopping. Oh, it's English, right? Shopping means buying something for you and for someone else. So I really like you know buying clothing. Hmm? Every single weekend, I buy I bought uh, some new clothes for just stress out. Okay, all right. Number so this is about shopping. No, number two, 사람, 사람. What is 사람 is? 사람 means people, person. All right. Is this about people? No, it's about things on fish, right? Number three, 노래, 노래. What is 노래 is? 노래 is singing a song, right? Do you like singing? In Korea, there are so many singing rooms. We call singing room 노래방. Is Korean style of karaoke. If you visit Korea, I really, really recommend you go to singing room. <laughs> you love it. There's all different pop song and some song also. Not only for the Korean songs. Number four, 음식. 음식. What is 음식 eat? We the something we eat. That's right, food. So 생선. It's one of one of the one kind one of the kind of one kind of food, right? So the best answer for will be number four, 음식. 음식. Do you understand all? So can we move number three? Here we go. I'm not gonna read the question again. So we know how to answer the question, right? So I'm going to read the, only the box. 친구들을 만납니다. 축구를 합니다. So let's find out the key word here. 축구 and 친구. 친구, do you know what 친구 is? 친구 means friends. Friends and then 축구. 축구 is one of the sports. What is it? Do you know it's a sport with the ball, you can kick and you can pass and you can heading. What is it? Soccer. In Korea we call soccer and maybe some other country called football, soccer. In Korea, same thing. <laughs> and alright, so this is about sports, right? Sports. Hmm. But I cannot see the sports 운동 in the number one to four. So we should find out the, um, the best way, best way to about this sentence. Number one, 학교. 학교. 학교 is school. So this is not about 학교 life, right? School life, right? Of course, there's a school, a friend. But there's any mention, there isn't any mention about school. Number two, 요일. 요일. What is 요일 is? 요일 is Monday from Monday to Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That is 요일. But there's no 요일 in the box. In Korean, 월요일, 화요일, 수요일, 금요일, 목요일, 금요일, 토요일, 일요일. So there's nothing. And then number three, 취미. 취미. Do you know what is 취미 is? 취미 means 취미 is something you enjoy and like to do uh, during your free time. That is 취미. So this sentence about the sports, well, sports would be the hobby, right? So the 취미 is a hobby. So this is the, this sentence is about much more hobby. It looks it looks right answer, right? Number four, 날짜, 날짜, 날짜 means 
the date, right? So January 2nd, February 4th, something like that. So we can find out the best answer will be number 3. All right. So it's not that difficult to write. Can we move next question? All right. Good. All right. Number four. Oh, before that, <laughs> I love to let you know some vocabulary of food. Look at this. What did? It's all of I prepare all the Korean food today. So this is meat, marinated meat, and with some sauce, maybe soy sauce and some other flavors and there are some vegetable and fried all together so you know what it is bulgogi bulgogi normally the meat can, can be beef or pork mm, not chicken and then this is korean style korean traditional stew so we can put some kimchi on it and some tofu or sometimes tuna sometimes pork anything will be in here do you know what is this kimchi jjigae you know stew in korean we call jjigae so kimchi stew so we call kimchi jjigae and then it's i guess it's it's most popular or famous food korean food in the whole around world right so some vegetables and some eggs and some sometimes beef and mix all together in the one bowl sometimes haston bowl haston pot right so do you know what is this bibimbap bibimbap hmm do you like bibimbap hmm i never saw i never saw some foreigner doesn't like bibimbap why not Last one is very casual food in Korea. Is this is noodle, very instant noodle in Korea. We call ramen, ramen, ramen. All right. So there's Korean food all here: bulgogi, kimchi jjigae, bibimbap, and ramen. And what's my favorite here? Mm. Kimchi jjigae. Kimchi jjigae. So what's your? You can choose. I guess maybe you like bulgogi. Bulgogi. I heard, I heard, I heard bulgogi is, bulgogi and bibimbap is most popular food for you. Except Korean. <laughs> All right. Let's move. Number four. 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 4월 16일은 제가 태어난 날입니다. Right, let's find out the keyword. 3월 16일 and then 태어난 날. 3월 16일 is the date. March 16th. And then 태어난 날 mean the day I, day, day, 제가 태어난 날. The day I was born. The day I was born. Okay? So, how, what can we call the day I was born? The birthday, right? In Korea, we say 생일. So, can you find out where 생일 is? Here? Yes, that's right. Number three, 생일. So, that could be the answer. So, the time number one question is very all about the vocabulary so you should if you find the right answer before you read all things you can choose all right mm, you can finish faster as faster number but we need to check because we are starting right now number one item what is item is name so the the word we call people and the things right number three 가족 가족 what is 가족이? Mother, father, brother, sister, grandpa, grandma. What, is, what are they? Family. That's right. Number four, 친구. 
Tingu is the people who really close with you and spending spending a good time with you and they're always in your side. Something like that, right? So Tingu is friend. Do you have true friend? Or do you have false friend? I have a, a few true friends. I guess. <laughs> Next. So I'll let you know though about some more detail about the date. 날짜. So there are just 12 months and then um, date, right? Hmm. So in Korea, January, in Korea, 1월. February, 2월. 3월, 4월. 5월, 6월, 7월, 8월, 9월, 10월, 11월, 12월, 12월, right? Okay, so and then here's some November calendar, right? Why do I choose November? Because November 14th is, can you guess what day is it? November 14th? It's my birthday. That's why I choose the November calendar. So you need to know the how to read the date. So November 14, how can we read in Korean? 11월 14일. 11월 14일. Okay? And then how can you read November 3rd? 11월 3일. Okay, let's practice only one more date. How can you read November 30th? 11월 30일. Okay. Not that difficult, right? To read a date. Number 5. 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 저는 독서하는 것을 좋아합니다. There's only one sentence here, so we need to find out the keyword. Hmm. 독서, and then 좋아합니다. 독서 means reading a books, right? Reading books. And 좋아합니다, I like, I enjoy, I love, right? So what is this about? Number one, 취미. So what did I say chimmy is? Chimmy is the the things <coughs> I'm sorry. The things you like to do during your free time. So do you think the reading books is about the uh, chimmy? Chimmy is the hobby, right? And then number two, Changso. Changso is the place or location. So it could be sometime in a school, 학교, or 집, home, or restaurant, 식당, or library, 도서관. Something like that could be the 장소. Number three, 주말. What is the 주말 is? We saw the calendar before, right? Let me check. Go back. All right, here we go. The 주말 will be the weekend. Saturday and Sunday is 주말. Number four, 직업. <coughs> 직업 is the what do what I do what I do for a living. My job is teacher, right? I'm teaching you right now. All right. So which can be the right answer? Number one, 취미. Oh. So let's find out what kind of hobby. Vocabulary are there more. 독서 is reading a book. 영화 보기. Do you know what is 영화 is? 영화 is movie. So watching movie. Do you like watching movie? I like watching movie. 저는 영화 보기를 좋아 영화 보는 것을 좋아합니다. 등산 is hiking. Do you like hiking? 나는 저는 등산하는 것을 좋아하지 않습니다. Oops. 
but I sometimes do. Next, 여행. <coughs> I'm sorry. 여행 means traveling. All right. So 저는 여행하는 것을 아주 좋아합니다. 많이 많이 좋아합니다. Do you like traveling? 여행을 좋아하나요? Hmm. Anybody? Next. Okay. So it. It's about number six. Next question. I don't know what kind of problem on my throat. <laughs> Tell me, okay, no worry about me. 여기에선 싱싱한 해산물을 구입할 수 있습니다. So here's the key word, 해산물. And 여기. 여기 means this place, here, okay? So this is about some locate, lo some place, some, you know, 장소. So we need to find out what kind of place is this. But here's the key word, 해산물. Do you know what is 해산물 is? 해산물 is um, the crab, fish, or sea, seashell, or squid, octopus, that everything can be 해산물. So what is 해산물 is? Seafood, that's right. So where, where can you cook? mean buy. Where can you buy seafood? Number one, 계절? No, it's a season. Spring, summer, fall, winter. B. Number two, 나라? Of course, this is place, but 나라? You, can you buy seafood at 나라? B. Mm -hmm. Number three, 시장. Do you know what is 시장? Market. So can you buy seafood at market? Yes, it is. Yes, you can. Number three. Number four, 휴일. 휴일 means the day off. You don't need to work. That is 휴일. So the right answer is number three, 시장. Good. So I let you know, I love to let you know the what kind of thing we can buy from 시장, market. What do you think? What can you buy? The so first of all, what's this? 해산물. That's right, seafood. We can buy seafood at 해산물. When I travel, when I travel the, the Seattle and the, there's a huge market, Pike Place Market. So I saw those, so many different you know, seafood, especially lobster. So delicious. In Korea, we also have seafood market in Seoul or Busan, Noryangjin. Chagalchi Market. So when you visit Korea, I really, really recommend you go to the seafood market. A little bit disgusting. Next, what's this? All right, this is meat. Gogi. Gogi. You can buy gogi at the market. And then, what's this? Fruits. Do you like fruits? All right, in Korea, we can say guail. And then, fruit to friend. Vegetables, right? And this is 채소. 채소. And number seven, 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. Can we read the, the sentence in the box? 어머니는 간호사입니다. 아버지는 회사원입니다. Here's some key words. 어머니, 아버지. Do you know what is it? 어머니, 아버지, mother and father. That's right, parent, 부모님, or you can say 가족, right? And then here, another keyword, 간호사, 회사원. 간호사 is nurse, 회사원 is office worker. This is about 직업. So we should find out which is much more right answer. You can look at the this number four and number one. Oppa, it's brother, older brother. I have one older brother. He lives in Seoul. <laughs> number two, Pumo. Pumo is P. 
parent. Oh, there's your right answer. Number three, 고향. 고향 is hometown. Hometown. Uh, where you were born, right? Number four, Pyeongwon. Pyeongwon is the place we should go when we are sick. It's a hospital, doctor, right? That's right. So there are only one right answer, 부모. If they are 직업, 직업 could be the answer, but that's no, because if you, uh, if the, if 가족 and 직업, or together, it makes you really, really confused. Is that the great question? So they only gave you, give you only one thing. I, oh my God, what's happening? All right, here's the family picture, family picture and the, okay. Here's a family picture and then you see the picture and the name. So first of all, 아버지, 어머니, 할아버지, 할머니, 형, 다음에 누나. Alright, this is me. Alright, this is me. 어머니, 아버지, 할아버지, 할머니, 형, 누나. And uh, my little brother, 동생. Okay. So remember the 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 vocabulary of 가족 also family. Let's move number eight. 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. Okay, can we read all together in the box? Here we go. 토요일에 축구를 합니다. 일요일에 쉽니다. 토요일 and 일요일. What is it? 토요일 is Saturday. 일요일 is Sunday. Hmm. It's the weekend, right? It's the weekend. And what did I do? Uh, play soccer. Good. So we need to find out what's right answer number one. 주말. What is 주말? Is Saturday and Sunday the weekend? Oh, we find the right answer already, but we need to read the other things. Number two, 오전. 오전 means before the time before noon. From midnight to noon, we call 오전. And number three, 여름. 여름 is one of the season after spring in Korea. That's right, summer. All right, number four, 달력. 달력, you can see the page, see this, uh, and then you can know, you can know the date, the month and date. Calendar, that's right. So the right answer will be number one, two, man. Okay, I'll prepare one more calendar again, November. Do you know what, <laughs> what, did I, what did I choose November? Of course, there's my birthday. Remember what's my birthday? When is my birthday? Remember November? November 14. That's right, but this time I love to know the dates. 월요일, 화요일, 수요일, 목요일, 금요일, 토요일, 일요일. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Remember? So in Korea, you only change the first letter. 월, 화, 수, 목, 금, 토, 일. 월, 화, 수, 목. 금, 토, 일. Right? Today is Saturday. I love Saturday. Who doesn't like? <laughs> Next, number nine. 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 오늘은 5월 1일입니다. 내일은 5월 2일입니다. Alright, the key word will be 5월 1일, 5월 2일. 오늘 내일. 오늘 is right now, today. 내일 is day after today. Tomorrow, that's right. And 월 and 일 the, is about 날짜, the date, right? So the right answer will be number 4, 날짜. 
Number one, Panghak. What is Panghak? Do you know Panghak? It's a vacation, right? Vacation. So you don't need to work or you don't need to go to school. Number two, Haru. Haru is a day, the day. Number three, Achim. Achim. You wake up at in the Achim. It's morning. That's right. Number 10. 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 1월에는 수업이 없습니다. 학교에 가지 않습니다. Alright, here's a keyword. 수업 없습니다. 학교에 가지 않습니다. No class. So you don't need to go to school. So what is it? You don't need to go to school and no class. All right, this is about vacation, right? So what did I say vacation is in Korean? Panghak, number two. Number one, 여행 is traveling, right? I told you I really love traveling. I hope travel to your country soon. I'll write back. I will see you right back, right soon. <laughs> number three, 날짜 is the date. Number four, 약속 is two different words in English, appointment or meeting. Right? Promise? A promise and appointment. All right. Okay, right answer will be number two, 방학. We almost done, so keep you know, keep doing this until question number 15. So, five more questions. Cheer up, alright? 11. 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 동생은 입이 작습니다. 귀는 큽니다. Here's a point word. 입 and 귀. Do you know what is 입 and 귀? 입 and 귀 are on our face. What is 입? It's mouth. What is key? Ears. Okay. So this is about your face, appearance, your looks, right? In Korea, uh, let's find out. Number one, chimi. What is chimi? Is soccer or watching movie or reading? So that is chimi. It's hobby. That's right. Number two, nuna. Who is Nuna? Nuna is a person who is older than me, uh, the woman, the woman older than me in our family. Uh, and I am a boy and the girl, the girl oh, is the girl older than me could be Nuna, older sister. That's right, older sister. Number three, Weimo. Weimo means your looks, appearance. So that could be right answer. Number four, 장소. 장소 is the place, like a school, 학교, 집, 식당, 영화관. That could be 장소. So right answer is number three, 외모. Let's find out about the 외모 more. Ta-da! Who is it? Mm. It's me, all right? And then we need to know the vocabulary of our face. First of all, body. 눈, 코, 입. In Korea, this is hair, right? But in Korea, when you go to hair salon, if you want to, hair, you have, you want to have a hair cut, we didn't say 머리카락 자르다. We say 머리 자르다. Cut the head. Oh my god, right? It's very creepy expression, but in Korea, we use it just to follow me, okay? <laughs> Number 12. 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 선생님은 미국 사람입니다. 저는 스페인 사람입니다. Here's keyword. 미국 사람. Oh no way. And then Spain, 사람. All right. So this is about nationality, right? So in Korean, nationality is 국적. All right. Number one, 친구 is friend. 
Number two, 국적. Let's find the answer. Or we find the answer. Number three, 생일. 생일 is the day you are born. What's that? Birthday. Number four, 가족. 가족 is a people or related blood with you. It's 가족, family. So the right answer is number two, good job. So there are some more nationality. We can say Nara or Gukja. You can see the flags, all different flags. First of all, Korea, right? We call Hanguk. China, Jungkook. Japan, Ilbon. Vietnam, Vietnam. America, USA, Miguk. And France, France. German, Dogil, Russia, Russia. So remember all the other uh, nationality also. Number 13, three more questions. Cheer up everybody. Number 13, 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 밥이 맛있습니다. 반찬도 맛있습니다. Yeah, here's a key word. Pop and banchan. Pop is rice. Banchan is side menu. And then pop, if you don't know pop and banchan, look at it. Masismida. Masismida means delicious, right? So when can you say for delicious? For food, right? So here we go. Number one, 음식. 음식이 the things we eat. So this is food. Number two, 물건. 물건 is the things around us. All the things around us. Like a pencil, like a remote control, or TV, or computer. Number three, 시간. Time. You can see this is, it is three or four, fifteen something. Number four, 날짜. February, January, November 14. 날짜, the date. So the right answer could be number one, 음식. Number 14, 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 영희 씨는 컴퓨터를 가르칩니다. 컴퓨터 선생님입니다. Hmm. So here's the key word. Hmm. 선생님. Hmm. 선생님. What is 선생님? Do you know 선생님? Is? I am 선생님. Who am I? I am a teacher, right? Teacher. So teacher 선생님 is about job. 선생님 is one uh, one kind of job, right? So the right answer will be number. Can you find it? Number. Okay. Number one, 직업. What is 직업? 직업 is the things you work for a living. 직업. That's right. That is uh, jobs, right? Number two, 나이. 나이 will be the, your age. Hmm? Number three, 생일. The day you are born. Mine is November 14th. Number four, 가족. The people around you related blood together. Family. That's right. So the right answer will be number one, 직업. So now it's time to we need to know just some more vocabulary about 직업. Who are they? They are working at the office with computer or some paperwork, wearing white shirt and the neck uh, the tie or suit. 회사원. 회사원입니다. Okay, who are they? They are cooking the food and service to the people customer at the restaurant. 요리사, 요리사입니다. Who is he? He has
have the sick people with the wearing white gown and stethoscopes. Is that right? Mm. Who is he? 의사. 의사입니다. Oh my god. Oh shh. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. No way. Okay. Who is she? Be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, Joy. Who is she? Just like me, teaching student or people. 선생님, 선생님입니다. Ooh. So we know some more vocabulary of jobs. So please remember all these together. Can you believe this? Number 15 is the last question for today. 무엇에 대한 이야기인지 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 운동을 좋아합니다. 축구를 자주 합니다. Here's the key word. 운동, 축구. 운동 is the some body, you know, body, 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 body exercise. And 축구 is one of kind of the sport. So this is about sport, soccer, but sports and soccer could be hobbies, right? So this is all about the finding hobby. So what is a hobby in Korea? 취미. So the answer will be number three. That's right. So 날씨, 시간, we know we so many times before. But number four, 친척. What is a 친척? 친척 is the people. Of course, relate with your blood, something like, you know, brother of your father or sister of your mother or the daughter or daughter and son of your <coughs> uncle. How can you say relatives, right? In Korea, we can say tin top, tin top. Ooh, so today we we, we uh, study a, really a lot of things, right? So there's but some vocabulary keep coming out and out to get again and again. So you should remember about the some vocabulary uh, come out usually. So you need to you can can get a good score at the test, right? Oh my god, there's one more vocabulary, 운동, sports. Alright, here we go. Who, what is it? 이게 뭐예요? Can you see the ball? What kind of ball it is? That's right. 축구. 축구. In Korean, the soccer is a really, really popular sport. We have you know, World Cup in 2002. And we have really, really amazing sports Soccer player Ji Sung Park, uh, he already retired, but in he played. He used to play in the Manchester United, one of my favorite team before, not right now, and uh, and also we have some amazing players too, who played in the Europe, not many. And then what's this? Actually, this is my favorite sport. Tang 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 tang. Yes, this is a nongu. Basketball, right? Mm. Basketball. Very funny. Very, you know, exciting. And then, this is one of popular game in Korea too. So you can throw the ball and hit the ball. What's this? Baseball. That's right. Yeah, good. There are some professional teams of baseball in Korea. So, oh, there's one more recommendation thing for you when you visit Korea. You should go to see baseball game. For me, actually, I really enjoy to eat, you know, chicken and beer at the stadium. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in the game. Just in you know, the beer. <laughs> Next, what's this? Tang. All right, tennis. That's right in Korea. Tennis. Sounds similar, right? It just comes from the English name. Tennis. What's your favorite sport, by the way? For me, 
to watch basketball. Mm, to do no. <laughs> All right. So that's it for today. Really, really, really. So please come back again next time, and I really, really hope to see you next class.